Okay, today I'm going to talk a little about how to create your own interactive map using Google Maps. So first thing I'm going to do is sign into my Google account. And if you want to make a Google account, it's really, really easy. Go to google.com. It'll set you up with a Gmail and access to all services that Google does, like including YouTube. You can use your Google account to sign into that. And now that I'm signed into Google, I'm going to go over to Maps. And it's going to show up that I've already created a couple maps. I'm going to go to Create a Map. I'm going to give my map a title. I'm going to call it MSU. And I'll just add the description, Missouri State University in Springfield, Missouri. All right, and you can either make your map public or unlisted. And if it's public, anyone can see it and it'll show up like on a Google search. And if it's unlisted, then you share the URL with people you want to see it. And I'm gonna click save. Now the next thing I wanna do is actually add a marker to my map. And what I'm going to do is to search MSU's address in here. It pops up because I've searched it before. And now the next thing I want to do is go back over to my maps and open up the map I want to use. And I'm going to place the marker on there. Place the marker right on Missouri State. And it's going to come up with this box because MSU is already marked on the map. And I'm going to exit out of that because I want to make my own. And next thing I'm going to do is try to add my own information about MSU. And I'm going to call this Missouri State University. And I'm going to add a little description. Um, this is where I go to school. And usually you can also add like contact information, a website, or um, like what's located near. So you can also go to the rich text and this gives you a couple more options. You can do things like bold it. Also you can use this tool to link and it's really easy. Um, you can also add in a picture. And if you want, you can change the marker icon. You can use some of these icons that Google suggests, or you can even add your own. And it's really easy because you can just add a URL from Google and it'll make that into an icon. It's really easy. So I'm gonna go back and hit okay. And now this is a marker. And when I run over this, it's going to give the information that I typed in. And now, if I want to add more locations to my map, I just search them and then place the marker in the place and add in the information that I, like I did for my MSU. And if you want to email this to someone or send a link on Facebook or something, you just copy this link. And if you want to embed it in your website, you use this embed code. And you can also customize your embedded map. And so you can change the height and width. And then down here, you copy and paste the embed code. And if you make changes to the map, like it's height and width, you're going to have to make changes to the embed code. So just make sure to remember that. You need to copy the embed code every time you want to resize the map because it's not going to stay the same. Um, and then you can also use this link to email your map or to view in Google Earth. And now that my map is almost done, I'm going to click done. And now it is able to be searched and seen by other people. But even though it's done, I can always go back in and edit it and add more markers or change the description or add a link or something like that. And then I just want to hit done again. And when I go back to my maps, I will see my MSU map. And this is a really, really easy way to just add more to a story that you're working on. And it's really easy to do. And it provides people with a lot of information that they might have to look for in a bunch of different places in one place, which is really important. This was helpful to you, and thanks for watching.